The confidence level um, with the advent of DVT and reading mammography, it's gone through the roof. Um, I have and I've shown many interesting cases where um, any hardworking attentive radiologist may have passed as a normal area of breast, breast tissue compared to prior exams that the DVT brings to forefront. Look here, go further, get some diagnostic images to see if this area persists or if it goes away and clear, it gets cleared. Um, so it's been, I, I couldn't imagine reading mammography now without having DBT images to scroll through. Well, DBT has changed the way that we practice in a positive effect where the confidence issue we've already discussed has gone through the roof. And we feel more comfortable now when we read screening mammography knowing we've got this added information that DBT gives us to, to look very closely at areas that we may normally have otherwise passed as part of a normal exam. With the DBT images, it's giving us more information, hey, look here, potentially, to pick up this small area. And that, that's a huge change in the way we practice. In the other vein, take a breath and understand it's going to take you a little longer to read the study. You're not just taking four prior images compared to four new images. You may have upward of 100 to scroll through and be happy about that because you're going to pick up something potentially that you might miss otherwise. There was uh, one particular case that I probably will never forget. As I'm reviewing a prior mammogram that looked totally normal compared to our uh, FFDM, and there's a questionable area of maybe increased density. The DBT brings it right up with a small area of internal architectural distortion with partially obscured margins. That's an indication, go with a diagnostic. Spot compression views of the area confirms its persistence. We did an ultrasound. The ultrasound findings weren't really suspicious. Smoothly marginated, hypochoic, low level internal echoes with increased through transmission and posterior wall enhancement. Almost maybe a complex cyst. You go back to the DBT images, it's showing you this doesn't look right. So you stick to that. We biopsied it. Adenoid cystic breast carcinoma. It has a, a prevalence of less than 0.1%. It's a one in a million cancer. And I have to believe, and I'm confident saying, if it wasn't for the Aspire Crystal's DBT images, I could have missed that lesion. And if it wasn't for those images, I may have looked at an ultrasound and said, ah, complex cyst. See you in six months.